how is it going guys well welcome to the channel now today as you can see from the title i'm going to be doing sort of like a, a few things like five things say about the about this car that I don't really like compared to my Corsa VXR. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a quite hard list to max. There's not many things I don't like about the car. However, I, obviously, I've had the car a while now, got sort of used to it, um, and sort of pick, found little nit, nitpicky things that I don't like about the car compared to my Corsa. So, as always, guys, I like to do a video. I did a video on the Corsa, so I thought I'd do a video on the Astra and basically compare it to the Corsa of the things I don't like about it. Um, if, this go, if you enjoy this video, guys, um, I'd be quite happy to do a few things I, I like about the car compared to the Corsa VXR. Let me know in the, in the comments if it's something you'd like to see. So, we'll make a start with the first one now. Okay then, the first thing, the, 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 the number one, the first thing that really annoys me about this car is the visibility. It is awful. Compared to the Corsa, it is awful. Let me show you what, you, what I mean. Right then, like the Corsa, it's got a blind spot here. Now, the Corsa was bad, but this is so much worse. It is a hell of a lot worse. The amount of times I've lost cars here, when I'm pulling up to an island and stuff like that, I just haven't seen them and almost pulled out on them. It is terrible. And the view at the back, it is, oh, it's just awful. Well, obviously, it's worse than my car because it's got rear tints, and obviously, I'll park the car in the garage. So, I'm looking in the mirror. I think we see it. Hello. Um, it's the just a visibility, visibility is just terrible. You just can't see, not the rear quarters are small. Just the visibility at the inside the car is just terrible. So, that for me is the one thing that really annoys me about this car compared to the courses of visibility. It's just terrible. I mean, I drive a van for work, so seeing at the back isn't too much drama. I'm used to looking at my mirrors. But it's just so when I'm reversing the car in the garage, the rear rear window is tinted, and it's just oh so difficult to see. And like I said, it's blind spot. It's just terrible. So that's my number one. Right then, number two is the interior. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it's compared to the Corsa, it's just not doesn't look as nice. It, uh, it, I don't know, it's maybe because it's obviously the Astra is an older car than the Corsa is, but it just doesn't, it's not as nice. It's not a no, as nice place to be. The seats are lovely, but I just don't think they look as cool as the Corsa ones do. Obviously, they're really comfortable, don't get me wrong, but they're just not as, they just don't look as good, do they, in my opinion? Like the, the Recaros that are in the Corsa VX are just a nice, better, better looking seat. They're not as comfortable as these, I will say that. These seats are more comfortable. However, I just don't think they look as, look as good. And the biggest thing, no cup holders. There's no cup holders here. You get one there. That's it. <laughs> what good? If I have a coffee or something, I'll re reach behind me to pick it up. I, I just don't understand. There's just no cup holders anywhere. I mean, yeah, there's a cup holder there, but what good's that? I can't just put a drink on there because as soon as they accelerate, I'll just fall out. So <laughs> they should have put something here, or even when they even push ones, you can just push and it slides out. But that's the only cup holder you get. It's so. That for me is, oh, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But yeah, the interior for me, it's just not as nice as a Corsa. But you know, it's, it's comfortable. And it's not a bad place to be. You do sit really high up on the seats as well. Compared to the Corsa, you sort of sat quite low down. Not, I mean, I, I'm a short ass anyway. I'm not the tallest guy in the world. But I imagine if I was quite tall, the you sort of the roof would be like quite close to my head. So, so it's quite lucky I'm short. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, number two is the interior. Okay, number three. Now, this is sort of a little petty one for me, is the lights. Um, when you turn the, on the, on the Corsa, when you left the lights on and you turn the car off, the lights will go off. How is with this? You have to physically turn them off, which is, I know that's stupid. It's quite lazy, but I know it just made life a little bit easier in the morning when I'm going to work first thing. If I've, I've driven the car at night, I've left the lights on, turned the car off. As soon as, it's hard, as, soon as I turn the car back on, the lights are already on. It's just, it's that's something really silly. Like I said, it was really difficult making, trying to find things I don't like about this car. But the lights for me, they don't, or they don't stay on when you turn the car. They don't stay on up. They don't stay off when you turn the car off. They stay on still. So you have to physically turn them off yourself. It, like I said, it's petty. I know it's really petty, but it's just another thing I don't like about the car. Right then, number four. Now number four is servicing it. Now it's. Yeah. I think compared to the course of it, it's such a headache, absolute headache. Um, if you go to the engine, obviously if you're running the stock crossover, you have to take all that off just to get to your plugs, which is why when I fit in my um, crossover dealer, that's why I did the plugs then. So you have to, if you're just running a stock crossover, you've got to take all that off and then, and then change your plugs. Obviously you, 
the oil filter is an absolute the worst position ever it's lost just down there i don't know if you can really see it but it's down there and obviously to get to that you have to obviously take a wheel off and then you un obviously unscrew it and it makes a mess but oil goes everywhere it's just a stupid design so obviously with the courses literally okay, so jacking the car up obviously dump your oil oil filters there nice and accessible there's no, no nothing going over this to stop you changing your plugs that's nice and easy and accessible it's just terrible absolutely terrible for that's that's that for me like i said it's a, somewhat somewhat pretty petty but for me that's just something that's quite annoying about servicing this car you have to do all that and taking the blooming wheel off to get to oil filter oh it's just really that's one thing that really annoys me about it but yeah that's number four Okay guys, right, the fifth and final one is probably predictable, is the fuel consumption. Now this is quite, these cars are quite bad on fuel compared to the Corsa. Even though my Corsa was running 300 brake, it was still quite e economic. I suppose it was only at 1.6. This is terrible. It is terrible. I mean, I'm averaging, pff, I mean, I would baby everywhere and I'm averaging about 27 to 28 miles per gallon. Whereas in the course, I was averaging 31 to 32, which isn't a dramatic difference. But if you really start putting your foot down in this car, it does eat the fuel quite bad compared to the Corsa. And it's, and it's, and it's got a bigger tank, so it costs more to fill up. But yeah, that's and one thing for me is a fuel consumption. It's, I suppose it's one of them, you have to expect it. You know, you're going from a 1.6 to a 2 litre turbo. You can, your fuel isn't going to be the best. So it sort of, sort of worries me when I'm running more power how much worse on fuel it's going to be compared to the Corsa. But I know, it's one of the things, and it's, you have to expect them sort of things with these. So that, that for me, is my fifth and final one for the car, is the fuel consumption. Right then, guys, that is it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is the list of things I don't like about the car so far. <laughs> but um, it was, it, like I said, it was really difficult trying to make a list for this car of things I don't like, so I do really like it. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see sort of a part two of things I do like about the, about the car compared to the course of XR, let me know in the comments. Drop a comment down and say, yeah, I'd like to see sort of thing. Or if is there anything you don't like about your Astra VXR? Maybe you have moved from the Corsa to the Astra and you, there's a few things you don't like about it. Hit, again, smash the comments. Let me know. It'd be interesting to see other people's opinions of them. Um, so as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the next one.